my topic is the NX prediction. So, each of us are going to go around the table and say what we want the NX to be, and also what we think it will be, because let's be honest, there's going to be some disparity there. We bow our heads in prayer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, I guess I'll go first. Um, so, what I want, and what I think, actually, I, I think they're going to be the same. So, um, I'm thinking Nintendo's going to release a basically a regular brick console like we're used to it's going to be more powerful than both the ps4 and the xbox one um third it's going to have as much third party support as ps4 and xbox one um i mean some wow that's the most surprising so far <laughs> maybe not one. as much it will have obviously much more than the previous nintendo consoles anyway so early on i remember hearing you know the nx is a is a platform right it's like not necessarily just a console so then we've also been hearing, you know, things here and there about, oh, you know, the, the controller, whatever, the second piece is a mobile device, this and that sort of stuff. So I think we'll, we'll get at least um, a re one regular controller like we're used to and that, you know, you could use just that. I think the mobile piece is based purely on, like, our cell phones. I think, like, the NX as a platform is going to integrate really deeply, you know, with our phones. I mean, I don't know exactly how. So maybe, you know, you take your phone with you to, you know, you're in a hotel somewhere else, you have your phone, and maybe you have your separate NX controller, or maybe an add-on for your phone as a controller type of thing, um, like one of those an weird Android controllers or something. And maybe from there you stream, you know, from your NX at home to your mobile device. Um, and it, to me, it, it's got to be, like, you're able to stream the whole game as it would be if you were playing it at home on your console. Um, and again, this isn't gonna, depending on your internet at home and wherever you're at streaming, may or may not work great. Um, but I think, I think that's the kind of jump that they're gonna have to make. Um, and I think that's what they mean by a platform. Uh, it's, it's gonna be more than just you know, a regular console. I think there's gonna be a deep integration with our actual mobile devices. And it, the timing seems right with what they've been doing on with Mitomo and whatever other mobile games they're working on. Um, it seems like that's the direction they're going. And also, um, like I mentioned previously, I think it's going to be more powerful than PlayStations and Xboxes right now. And I think that's important because there's these ongoing arguments every time a game comes out, oh, it's 1080p on PS4 and 900p on Xbox One. So I think Nintendo is going to get in, like jump right on top of that and take advantage of that so that from now on, every third party, you know, multi-platform game, well, it's 1080p on PS4 or 30 FPS is going to be, um, you know, 1080p on NX, but, you know, 60 FPS. Um, I think that they're just going to dive headfirst into that weird <laughs> FPS resolution battle that they don't really, they've never really been a part of, right? They've always been more focused on gameplay, but I think they're going to depart from that given the new leadership and, just the fact that they need to take a drastic change the way they do things. So <clears throat> I think that's where they're going to go with this. Um, that was a mouthful. So what do you guys think? So before we – I'll say what I think it's going to be. What would you – so if you had to pick three launch games for the NX, what do you think they're going to be? Right, right. Um, Zelda. Okay, um, so that's the first party. Saying. Um, I want to say Metroid, but – like a, a you know true Metroid game, but I don't think that that'll make launch. I think that'll be. Um, oh, also I'll mention I, I do think NX will launch uh, holiday 2016. Um, I think that has to happen. Price point? How much do you think it's gonna be? Four hundred. Yeah, so you know slightly above where PS4 and Xbox One are at, but again, this is more powerful. So um, I think that's where it's gonna jump in at. But then I think you know your your uh, mainline Metroid game won't come out till 2017. Um, so it'll launch with Zelda, um, a 3D Mario World, maybe uh, Galaxy 3 or Sunshine 2, something in that vein, right? I don't know exactly what. Can you imagine? <laughs> Good luck with both of those. <laughs> so maybe people would actually buy. The you're you're the you're the very optimistic one. I'm gonna be a little bit more pessimistic, I guess. Uh, so we're doing what we think it's gonna be, right? Not necessarily what we want it to be. So if I had to choose what I want it to be, it definitely hit everything you said. Um, but personally, what I think it's going to be 
is I think it's going to be less powerful than the PS4. And then it's going to be more powerful than the uh, probably around the same power point as the Xbox One. It's going to probably hit 900. Um, I think the controller is going to be like this rumor says. I don't think it's going to be something really weird. I think it's going to be something very familiar to gamers. I think they understand that they need to hit something that uh, can can resonate with people, and it's not something weird and quirky and you know, your weird cousin owns a Wii U, right? So it's like everyone owns it. It's something that people want to own. Um, as far as, like, the, the controller situation, I really don't see it being... They're so... They own the mobile space so much that why would they make something that merges both of those together? It doesn't make sense to me. Um, I think they're still going to be making the quote-unquote 3DS type of mobile devices. I think this is going to be something super... It's. I think it's going to be the Wii U gamepad shrunk down. It's going to be something where it's like, oh, look at your inventory on the controller kind of thing. It's yeah. like they took the idea they had and they're like, okay, some people liked it. Let's make it smaller so it's not on everyone's face, right? I don't think it's going to be something where you can unplug it and play the same game somewhere else. I think it's not going to be that. The controller is not going to have that kind of capability. Um, that's just me being a little pessimistic, but that's that's honestly what I think. Uh, I think it's going to come out this fall. That's not a shocking um, thing. I'm going to make a bold prediction and say it's going to come out in October. Um, I think it's going to come out around the same time as the PSVR. And I'll have my explanation for that. Uh, so, so it's going to die? No, I don't think so. <laughs> because I don't think the P- PSVR is going to sell as good as everyone thinks it is. Yeah, people will be inclined to buy a new console. Before would I rather play. buy a I know, would I rather buy a PSVR on what you said is that the PS4 isn't going to... PS4s right now aren't going to give you the greatest experience on VR. That's what you said earlier. Yeah, no, I, I mean, especially in comparison to the other VR headsets. Exactly. So, so it's like, what I do I buy a, a PSVR for this console, or do I get this new console from Nintendo that's doing everything I wanted them to do right for the same price point? They might even come cheaper. It might come in at, I'm going to say it's going to come in at 349 That's a little bit of wishful thinking. It's probably going to be 399 I'm going to say 349 October, around the same time as the PSVR. Um, to me, that makes sense. People are like you said. Now it's it's it, so it can die. I don't think that's the case. I think it'll flourish for the simple fact that people are going to go to the store and see: Do I buy this headset that's kind of weird and it's not really the best right now, or do I buy this whole new console? Which the lineup I think is going to be: It's going to be the Zelda game. That's an easy given. That's not something too bold, right? It has to be. It has to be. <laughs> It'd be dumb if it didn't. I think that it's going to be the Zelda game. I think it's going to be some weird third party um, like. Call of Duty or a sports game, you can almost guarantee there's going to be a sports game on it, right? Almost guarantee that. Yeah. Um, yeah. If, if I had they have a, that third party support. Yeah. If I had to pick like a a weird a weird game that might be a launch title, an Animal Crossing game would be cool. Uh, a, you know, launch title Animal Crossing game would be pretty solid. But you have to kind of figure. You have to hit different audiences, right? The whole point of a launch console is to have these games that like can hit everybody. So you have the sports game for people. You have the RPG, right? For RPG nerds, that's a Zelda game. So you kind of have to hit this middle ground of more of a casual experience. There will probably be some, like, family-type game, because that's what Nintendo does. The Wii Wii U Sports and all that garbage. And then I think it's going to be a more family-friendly focused game, like an Animal Crossing or a game in the style of, like, a Pikmin or something. You know what I mean? Not super hardcore. Um... And so if I had to say it, I'll, I'll make my declaration. It's going to be the three launch titles are going to be the Zelda game, Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 3, and a new Animal Crossing game. They're going to put last year's Call of Duty on it, not it'll this It'll be year's. the new Call of Duty. No, it'll be it'll – be, well, if it's coming out in October, that means it's going to be earlier than that. So okay. Okay. say, for instance, I get my prediction of the release date wrong. It comes out in November. Then obviously the new Call of Duty will be on it. But for if this, if this Red AMA is correct – it's going to be a game that currently exists because they're porting it. True, true. And Call of Duty sells, so yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Call of Duty. I'm going to go Zelda, and I'm going to go an Animal Crossing game. The Animal Crossing is my super bold prediction, and the other two are more safe bets. So, okay. Um, so here, I've got a little bit less of a prediction, a little bit more insider information here. Um, a little controlled interest exclusive for you right now. Um, I went to GameStop not too long ago to trade in some stuff, and um, you know some of the guys at my local GameStop recognize me and, and just kind of know who I am. So um, the naturally, guy was 
<laughs> yeah, because... He's the guy with the giant got, beard and the giant afro. He was like, yo, you have a Wii U. And I was like, yes, I do. And he was like, so... Um, essentially, I think they're telling them... I think it's Nintendo, because I don't know who else would it, be, it would be. But they're telling them that they're going to have uh, Zelda coming out this fall. And uh, most likely be for both consoles. And then they're thinking a fall release for NX as well. And um, the reason I bring that up is just because that's kind of the most solid information you could ask for. Of anybody, that's that's who's going to need to know is the person that's selling, the company that's selling the console in their brick and mortar stores. So Nintendo's going to make sure that they know way before. Um, I used to work at GameStop back in high school. And that was the year, the year that I worked there was the year before PS4 and Xbox One came out. And I remember um, that year in 2012, I remember my district manager saying, you know, it's going to be a lot of special stuff coming out next year. You know, he couldn't give me specifics because he probably had an NDA signed or something. But he was basically saying, new consoles next year, you know, get excited. And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty obvious at that point that we were going to get new consoles so not too surprising but just to say that you know these companies they definitely tell uh, especially GameStop and Best Buy and Walmart when they're going to be getting these consoles because you don't want like a Sega Saturn situation where the brick and mortar stores don't even know it's coming out and they get all pissed when you don't even tell them so so since you know the release date do you do you you have a price in mind do you have a you so know. I'm thinking uh, price is going to be 400 probably, maybe less if we're lucky. And then I think um, what I want out of the console is I really, really want them to make a game console. I want them to make, you know. The UI the, needs a change too. I didn't mention that, but I hope it has a, like a, a good UI. Cause like, oh my god, yeah. Since Wii and Wii U, those were so terrible, dude. Just Even like, the 3DS UI is terrible. Abysmal. Yeah, I mean, 3DS is passable, but... Yeah, I don't mind the 3DS. I can't say too much coming from the Vita with its stupid bubble icons, but, you know. Anyways, um, yeah, I definitely think UI needs to be better. They need to make a good game console. They need to make, essentially, like, the SNES of of today. They need to make a console that everybody can develop for, that everybody wants to play, that is, um, you know, up there with the other consoles, When you know. Today, it's Xbox and PS4. So, they need to get back in the game is essentially what they need to do, man. They've been spending all these years just being Nintendo and quirky little Nintendo off in their own corner of the gaming industry doing their kitty stuff. And that's that's been cute for the past 10 or 15 years, but something really needs to change now. Especially since, of their last three consoles, one has been a success and that... To me, honestly, the Wii was just a fluke. Like, it really yeah, that doesn't even count as a success to me either. It was a grandma bowling success. Or it was whatever. a perfect timing move. <laughs> Grandma's like, bowling simulator. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a gaming success to me. Like, yeah, totally true. Yeah, oh yeah, as a game console, I would not consider that a success. But as right. an entertainment system, yes, of course it was. So, yeah, I I think. They need to make a gaming console is essentially my point. My three games, um, obviously, you know, Zelda is going to be there. So that's no surprise. Um, if I could have my own pick, uh, Metroid, I'm hoping, is a launch window game. Not as much launch title, because I don't want that to crowd Zelda. But they've got, like, this Fusion Force crap is not cutting it, man. We need a new Metroid game, and I know they know that, but... If Federation Force, us, man. Federation Force, Fusion. Yeah, not Force? not oh. Fusion Force. Come on, man. This is this is big. It's, okay. it's <laughs> they're both terrible names, and they just need to get on the freaking ball because if we don't get a new Metroid within the first six months to year of NX, that's like almost not their death note, but I mean, it's pretty close for Nintendo because they can't keep screwing consoles up. So I really think we need a Metroid. And then, um, you know, the Call of Duties and the Maddens, they'll come if they're actually doing what they're supposed to and making a console that can run games. Um, 
So I want Nint- uh, my third game is I want to see something new from Nintendo, and I don't mean something new and quirky. Like, think if Nintendo had one of their first parties make an open world sci-fi RPG that's rated, oh my god, maybe teen or even M, <laughs> maybe even rated M for mature. Um, think about that. That would be so cool, and that's like a game, a type of game that people are actually interested in these days, as opposed to, you know, Mario jumping on some mushrooms, or Yoshi being made out of yarn, like, that's cute, and that's quirky, and I get it, you're Nintendo, you're these, you know, hipster darlings over there, but my god, guys, make make a dope-ass video game, you know. Any closing thoughts on this, on Dominic's topic? So, I'm almost certainly gonna buy it, Okay. The NX. I mean, unless it's uh, unless it's my it, it ends up being my second prediction, which is a cell phone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if you know they just did something completely off the wall? Like, there were some weird comments they made or like before, like you know, it's not necessarily a console. It's more of a yeah, yeah. You know, and that kind of scared me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I, th- I have that fear that it's just going to be something completely ridiculous. Um, but almost certainly I'm going to buy it just because I want to play this new Zelda and assuming it's on NX, you know, yeah. So that's the only thing that could, you know, keep me from buying. If it doesn't have, you know, this Zelda game at launch, then like Nintendo could just be gone. I'm going to be waiting, uh, just to see if they actually make a game console. You know, I don't need another Roku box or whatever. So it, unless they really come out swinging and give me some awesome video games and not just you know experiences um it'll probably be at least a year before i get one the kid in me wants this to succeed the adult in me doesn't because i want to play my nintendo games on my xbox one (laughs) i want them to be a software company that's me personally this thing bombs you may get that sooner than you expect oh yeah yep thanks again everyone for watching and or listening if you like what you heard be sure to give those like and subscribe buttons a quick click Every little contribution can help to make our channel grow. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at CTRLINT. That's controlled interest. See you later.